The video game industry is a multi-billion dollar industry and people all over the world spend hundreds of billions of hours every single year playing video games. So we're talking about them today on Made for Glory. I grew up in the 80s and Super Nintendo was a big deal when I was in elementary school. And it's something I was never allowed to have in my house, but other people had it in their houses and they loved playing uh, the various games. Sega Genesis came out at some point too. That was the more violent games. A friend of mine had those. I was never allowed to play, but sometimes, sometimes you know, I was able to watch my friend playing those games and I was always terrible at them. So it's interesting to me as I've grown up now to see that video games have increased in popularity. They're not only on our home systems, um, they're on our phones and tablets, they're in our cars. Basically anywhere there's electricity, there are video games being played. So we need to ask ourselves, why are these so popular? Why, what is it about video games um, that draws people to them to spend hours playing them, uh, hundreds of billions of dollars uh, in revenue that are generated by them? They're constantly doing new innovations. And I think there's something you can always say, what is the bad side of video games? Uh, violent video games are always kind of the thing that was demonized when I was a kid. But maybe even asking the question as followers of Jesus, what is something that is, is pointed to or drawn out in video games that is essential to our humanity? And I think the first is the sense of adventure. That video games uh, are always centered on some sort of adventure, doing something greater than yourself, fulfilling a mission or a task. It might seem mundane for those who aren't in the game, but for those who are involved in it, that if you're doing something that's getting you the token that's gonna get you, the, the goblet that's gonna get you to the castle to save the princess, that these missions, this sense of purpose is really exciting and it speaks to something within us. I think within when we look about our faith, that our faith ultimately is a participation in the greatest mission, the rescue mission that Jesus has of rescuing us from Satan's domain. And that we who are saved by Jesus get to participate in that mission. Another thing that uh, video games oftentimes give is a sense of identity, uh, that oftentimes people feel uh, very strongly about choosing their identity within the video game. They get to choose what kind of armor or, or uh, the team that they have if they're playing a sports game. Um, and this, this sense of being able to know who I am, what team I am on, is very, very important. A lot of times we grow up in a world since we, we have experienced the breakdown of family life, the breakdown of communities and religious um, experiences as well that so many people are struggling because they don't have an identity. And so they're seeking to, to find their identity in this world, either through video games or sometimes through sexual identity or sometimes through friend groups. And oftentimes that leads to greater and greater sadness and isolation and loneliness. And so I think it's important for us to recognize one of the great gifts that we have in our faith is that every single one of us who are baptized into Jesus Christ are baptized into the identity as a beloved child of God. So that no matter what you look like, no matter where you're from, what your past is, if you're in Christ, that you have a royal dignity. And that dignity flows through everything in our lives. So that your mission comes from your identity. The last thing that video games, particularly nowadays, point to is beauty that many of the most popular games have a beauty about them, beauty in landscapes, oftentimes beauty in music, and there's an aesthetic to it that draws you into these worlds, that draws you into the art and the grandeur and the splendor of what's been created by these very creative geniuses who are at work in these games. And to appreciate the beauty around you is so important. I think that speaks to us something deep and profound that's oftentimes missing in our experience of God that the faith is the most beautiful reality we have because the faith is what draws us into a relationship with what St. Augustine called beauty ever ancient, ever new, which is our God. That God is the source and foundation of all, of all beauty. And so to come into a relationship with God, and we do that through our senses, we do that through what we see, we think of beautiful architecture or art and the history of the church, what we hear, uh, we think about just uh, uh, the beauty of music, sacred music that moves our minds and hearts into adoration of God. What we smell and taste and touch, our whole experience and our, our following of Jesus, particularly as members of the Catholic Church, is driven through our senses to encounter the beautiful with a capital B. And so 
so video games, as silly as it might seem uh, for those who, who don't play video games, they capture that oftentimes better than we do even in the church of how to have a beautiful experience and how to allow that experience to move our minds and hearts towards what is true and what is good. So uh, today, if, if you play video games, you don't play video games, maybe uh, whether you appreciate them or don't appreciate them, hopefully this discussion helps you and I to recognize why video games are so attractive and powerful because they, they begin to point to us something beyond themselves, which is ultimately found only in God, um, that God who gives us that sense of mission, who gives us that identity, and also draws us into his own beauty. Hey guys, thanks for watching this latest episode of Made for Glory. Thank you so much to all of our sponsors. Make sure you like, share, and subscribe. And if you want to join us in sponsoring the show, make sure you click the link to support us via Patreon. Also, a big thank you to our sponsor, Wicking Vicar, who makes performance clerical attire for priests. Well, I can't say enough good things about their shirts. I'm wearing one of them right now. It's fantastic for priests who are on the go, for priests who live in hot weather like I do. And uh, we're so grateful for their sponsorship, and we hope to see you guys next time. Thank you.